Welcome back to the John Forte Show, presented by Veterans Ford, 3724 Veterans Highway, Veterans Boulevard, rather, here in Metairie. Ken Berthelot filling in this week for Mike Dettelier, who is back next week. He's making his list, checking it twice. <laughs> Not sure if you're on it, though, because... Uh, I'm a naughty. You, yeah, you've been naughty. You have been, been nice, but that, that's, a, <laughs> that's a subject for another segment of the show that we're not going to get into. Let's talk about player focus right now. We want to go back to Louisiana Tech and the New Orleans Bowl and actually the entire season for Louisiana Tech because we're going to talk about quarterback Jeff Driscoll and also running back Kenneth Dixon. Kenneth Dixon, so impressive as uh, a runner in this Skip Holtz offense. Look, he's only 5'10", 213. But uh, goodness gracious, when you watch him run, he's such a power runner. Reminds me a little bit of Darren Sproles. He'll make that one cut, then he can take it to the end zone real quick. He's, he is quick. And uh, talk to Mike Atelier about him. Mike says he's got him projected as a third round NFL draft pick. Thinks he's going to go real high and uh, offer somebody not only the power runner, but he's got soft, soft hands. When you watch him in action, he can catch a ball like a wide receiver. He can also just uh, catch it out of the back field on screens, and he can, again, take it as a power runner. He can take it to the house. Well, the thing about him, he's, got, he's so versatile. He can play inside slot. He can play outside receiver type situation when you when you move your running back. He, he's a running back by trade. There's no doubt about it. He can definitely run the football, uh, you know, 20, 25 times a game if you ask him to. He's 5'10", a lot bigger than, you know, Darren Sproles. You made a comment about Sproles. Uh, he's pretty quick, but he's got soft hands. I've watched him Ooh. in that bowl game catch the football all year long uh, with Louisiana Tech the way uh, he's performed with Louisiana Tech. And the big thing about it is people out there realize this. He is the all-time touchdown leader in college football at 87 87 in, in, in a bowl game, he, he rushed for over 100 yards and received over 100 yards. He had four touchdowns in that game. I mean, he ran so much that they, they, they ran out of his jersey number. He wore number 28. <laughs> well, and one, tore it off. At one moment, I look at the game, he's, he's running with no jersey number on the front because they ripped off his jersey number, and then he ended up playing the game with number one. Yeah, he started with 20, and, and one of his teammates had to <laughs> give him the jersey to right. finish it so he'd have a number on the front and the back. They actually were even tearing his name, Dixon was coming off but the, he's, the back he's of the jersey. NFL football player, Kenny. Yeah. There's no doubt about it. Fun to watch him play. Yes. And, and Skip Holtz did a great job with him, but not even close to the job that Skip Holtz and company did with quarterback Jeff Driscoll, who started his career way back in 2011 at the University of Florida. 16-5 and five as a starter at Florida. Has uh, NFL size and weight at 6'4", 231. And got a chance to really redeem himself because he was in the Sugar Bowl in the Superdome when Florida lost to Louisville. Yes. And he did not have a great game. And for him to be able to come back in the New Orleans Bowl with Louisiana Tech and redeem himself, uh, it meant a lot to him. He personally said the, that was so important in his life and career. The, the thing about uh, Driscoll, Jeff, is the fact that you know, they bump him at 6'4". He's probably a little over 6'2", 6'3". The thing about it, he came out of a college, a high school, excuse me, as a uh, dual threat number one high school player. He goes to Florida. When he went to Florida, mm -hmm. they still had the Tim Tebow offense in place for Will Muschamp there, and they tried to make him do that. He was way better of operating an offense than uh, you know, Tim Tebow, and that ruined him there. Now, look, he took a 10-2 and two team from Florida to the Sugar Bowl. Now, he got beat by Louisville, but he went 10-2 and two in the SEC. So he wasn't a bad quarterback, and in the following year, things went down, and he went bad, and things went really worse for him. Then he ended up where he is now, at Louisiana Tech. And I'll say this much, Skip did a great job. Holt did a great job with him right now. He threw for 4,000 yards, 27 touchdowns. You know, six and look, they dislike him in Florida. But let me say this, too. At Florida, he comes in at Florida. He misses uh, half of one season with an injury, comes back. Mm. He starts playing, and, and all of a sudden, things are going bad for Wis uh, Will Muschamp and, and the offense. He gets then replaced by Trayon Harris, and uh, Muschamp gets fired at the end of the year. He's the scapegoat, according right. to Skip Holtz, on all of that. It's, he's, he's blamed for something that really wasn't his fault. He performed very well. So he comes to Louisiana Tech. Holtz starts to build up his confidence, starts coaching him to his skills, finding some things in the offense and giving him packages that he's comfortable with and he likes. They pick them out together. And they really make it happen. And all of a sudden, he flourishes. He threw some passes in the New Orleans Bowl. And I'm telling you, he just dropped them into the hands in double coverage. Of Dixon caught one in double coverage that no one else could catch. I mean, he dropped it in the bucket for him in the end zone for a touchdown. Yeah, you just talk, you, got talent. You talk about Driscoll, and you, and you say that when he went to Louisiana Tech, they worked with him and did things. And the reason he went to Tech was because he saw Skip Holt. 
uh, on a game where uh, he said, man, I got to go play for this guy because he didn't chew out his quarterback. He, he put his arm around the guy, talked to the guy. And that's why he said, I'm going to Louisiana Tech. But we had talked about it prior to the segment. Yep. Uh, he will, he'll, he'll play on Sunday or something. And this is my, my take of him. I think he'll be more like a quarterback that somebody will bring on board, uh, develop him a little bit, maybe practice squad a year or so, and then get him an opportunity to be a backup and get his chance. Another A.J. McCarron, you could say, because A.J. sat around waiting for his moment to play. I think Jeff Driscoll down the road could play in the NFL because of his athletic ability. He can move around. He's got a really good arm. And just give the kid a chance. I think he can make somebody's roster. And most importantly, he's very coachable. He's yes. got a great attitude, and he is an excellent team leader. People really like him. So watch for these two young men in the future, but watch for Dixon. Let's see if he goes as high in the draft, the NFL draft, as we think and Mike thinks he will go. So we'll take a break. Be back in just a moment to Veterans Ford and more on the John Forte Show, presented by Veterans Ford.